Thanks for joining us here. Looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks. And for Indiana, one thing each of these teams can do is pass the rock, Grant. We should see a lot of ball movement tonight. Hey, sharing is caring. And of course, there's great chemistry on both teams. There's such a flow to this game when they get together. And we're going to see some terrific team basketball tonight. I can't wait. Mavericks with a rebound. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Here's Prince. It's tipped. Hook loose. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. side wing. Just five on the clock. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Well, Doris, despite some big moves, the Mavericks fell short of most people's expectations in 2023. Very tough end to their finish, especially in light of the talent they have. It just goes to show you, even the best pieces need time to gel together. Now the Dallas Mavs have some decisions. And he makes a first. Good on both. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Let's it go from 14. It's good. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. From deep. Drills it from deep. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Robbed. Takes it inside. Can't hit. One for two now. For Indiana, they've gone one of five to start things off. Six on the shot clock. The layup misses. And it's the Mavericks ball. It's intercepted. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Five to shoot. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Fires the three. He drops it from range. He has six. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Dallas has gone two of two at the perimeter. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. 
A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. One fourteen left to play in the first quarter. Drives to the hoop. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. 107 left now in the first quarter. The Mavericks leading. Over to the wing. From the right block. And the basket is good. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. Nails it from beyond the arc. Five points in the game. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Going inside. Off target at the rim. Indiana's gone one or two from three-point land so far. To the middle. Prince grabs the miss. His defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. One second left. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. And that does it for the first quarter. Mavericks ahead, up five. And we'll be back right after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. So the Mavericks five right now. Well, the saying is defense wins championships. But in this day and age, don't you need both? No question, B.A., you definitely do. I mean, we've seen plenty of great defenses flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points. Defense alone isn't enough. You need a balance of both. No good on the triple. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Shot from 12. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Second chance shot. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Oh, 
and makes it with the kiss. He's got seven. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Takes a three. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Indiana trailing here to the paint. Drops in the layup for two. They were totally in sync on that play. Targeted the pass. The Mavericks have got nothing to go in this quarter. Over five. Dallas, no good that time either. Good shot, gone bad. Got to finish there. Inside. And it's in there. Now it's a three-point Indiana lead. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. To the inside. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. Timeout on the floor. Mavericks trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Here's Prince. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Three minutes played now in the second quarter. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. The Mavericks trailing. Out left to the wing. From behind the arc. That's his fifth miss. Only made two shots in this one so far. It's rebounded by Dallas. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes, what a big-time asset defensively. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. And the Pacers with possession here. Following the score by Dallas. Yes, it's good. He has six. That's a big-time explosive move, challenging the taller defender and extending to the rim. It's Prince on the wing. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. Well, that's not exactly the most solid screen you'll see, but it still works. Fifty seconds left to play in the first half. Three-pointer off the mark. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Shoots in deep. Let's it fly. And a great job by the D, contesting that shot and forcing the miss. For Indiana, they've gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. They swipe it. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Well, it's amazing. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. There's 10 seconds left in the first half. Two on the clock. He can't get that one to fall. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Pacers up by one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings for the Pacers. The first quarter was pretty even. And having been behind by as many as eight, they clawed their way back. They came together in the score. And that's going to... We 
We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting at a decent clip. 45% for the game. It's Prince on the wing. And he lobs it up top. And for Dallas. It's picked off. For the lead. They get the rebound. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Indiana leading. Down low. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. And he banks in the layup. Give him eight points now. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Oh! Oh, oh, oh out of this world, reverse jam. Nice. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. To the middle. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Mavericks with the rebound. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. For the lead, the shot no good. For Indiana, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. To the wing on the left. With the teardrop. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. Six to shoot. There's the triple. Hits a three-pointer. And Indiana leads by six. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire any time you leave this guy open. And they just got burned. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often.
Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Forty-one left in the third quarter. Comes up empty down low. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end. Certainly, he cannot buy a bucket right now. And the bucket is good. He's got 17. A minute 20 left in the third. Stolen. With some arc, Prince grabs the miss. The Mavericks trailing. And he's going for the lob. Now that's a textbook alley oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. The Pacers have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Target from outside. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. There's 31 seconds left to play in the third quarter. And he can't get that one. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. You know, he's flat fueling their success. Most of the offense has gone through him. Twelve seconds left in the third. Shot clock at six. Pulls it from the top of the key. The shot, no good. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Pacers up eight. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Indiana leading. There's the drive. Deflected. And for the Mavericks. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. To the right side. Tries again, and it's good on the layup. And Indiana leads by eight. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. Well, you love that he wants to wear out the defense. What a catalyst for his team. Incredible. Fires from deep. They get it back. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanted to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Stripped it away. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. 
Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Clock at six. Puts up a three. It doesn't go for him. He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. Nineteen footer. And he nails that one right through the heart. He's got 21. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's given to them. Now the Pacers on the move. Finished off the break. And it's an eight-point Indiana lead. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Indiana. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. He's off on the layup. The Mavericks have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. One fourteen left in the fourth quarter here. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Inside. To the wing, right side. Connects from downtown. And Indiana leads by 11. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Pacers. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. Two shots. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Thirteen feet out. Another steal. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. the Pacers take the win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you later.